I'm here with Dr. Romano to do another problem on nuclear chemistry. Hi, nuclear chemistry is the very last chapter in general chemistry, and a lot of kids overlook it, but it's a very important topic for the DAT. If you know all the problems in the destroyer, I think you're set to go. Where I go over fission and fusion, binding energy, um, alpha decays, beta decays, positron emissions, electron captures. If you can do all them and all the problems in the destroyer, you're set to go. But let me show you one more challenge problem. Um, I made a previous tape where we calculated things like energies and mass defects, but I want to do one more problem on what we call the binding energy. The binding energy is going to represent the amount of energy either to break the nucleus or to assemble the nucleus. So if I'm breaking the nucleus, I need to put in energy. So that's gonna be endothermic. Whereas if you're going in the opposite direction where you're assembling it, then that's going to be exothermic. So come on in and let's have a look. What I did here is we have a 6529 copper nucleus and it has a mass of 64.9 119 atomic mass units, or sometimes we just write it as U. What I want to do is to find this binding energy of this nucleus, meaning I want to find the amount of energy that it would cause to make the nucleus. What I did here is I gave you the mass of the proton, I gave you the mass of the neutron, and I also gave you that an AMU is equal to 931 mega electron volts. First thing you're going to do, you're going to take 6529 copper. If you subtract 65 minus 29, that gives you the number of neutrons, which is 36. The number of protons is simply the little number, which is the atomic number. So we have 36 neutrons and 29 protons. All I did was multiply the number of neutrons by the mass given, which is 1.0087, and the 29 protons by its mass of 1.0073. And what I do is I add them up and we get a total mass of 65.5249. Notice there's a mass difference. That change in mass is the mass defect. So I'm going to take the actual mass of 64.9119, notice that actual mass is less than the total amount of protons and neutrons making it up. I'm gonna subtract that 64.9119 minus the mass when we added up all our protons and neutrons of 65.5249, and we get a mass defect a minus 0.613 AMUs, and then the kill. All I do now is use the conversion. We know that an AMU is 931 mega electron volts. You convert it and solve. So this is another way that we could go instead of using the Einstein equation like I did in the previous example. So this is a great way to figure out how to calculate the binding energy. You could have also done it by the Einstein equation like I showed previously, but if I gave you the conversion of 931 mega electron volts as one AMU, all you had to do is multiply, it's a piece of cake. All right, I hope this helps on showing you how to do binding energy. All right, good day to you, bye-bye.